Hi. Okay, this video today is about swimming. And um, so my son, Nathan, who is 16 years old, drowned on July 4th, 2017, which was exactly two weeks ago today. And um, the elephant in the room, you know, the question that the reporter asked when she was questioning us was, did your son know how to swim? Or was he a strong swimmer? I'm not sure how she phrased it, but it was something like that. And we told her, yes, he knew how to swim, which he did. He had been to, um, he had, he had gone jet skiing with his friends on Lake Travis. Um, he had, um, we had gone to swimming pools. We, he'd gone swimming with friends. He'd, we'd gone to water parks together, um, the smaller ones, but fun ones. So we'd gone tubing on the Kamal River. We weren't, we weren't away from the water. But there's a full story. And the full story is, okay, so he had lessons when he was eight. And um, we were on a very, very tight budget back then. We did not have many funds. We had four small children, but I wanted him to have lessons. So we made the sacrifice to have lessons for him. And after a full week of group lessons, he was basically still where he had started. He wouldn't even put his face under the water. He was afraid of the water, and so he wouldn't put his face under the water. So um, his, the lady had all these other kids to work with, so he just kind of got left behind. He got always left at the edge, and she'd tell him, blow bubbles, and he'd blow bubbles with his nose out of the water. Um, so anyway, fast forward a little bit. When he was about 12, I think he was 11 or 12, um, my sister-in-law gave us this, all these free trips to um, a pool at Deep Eddy, which is in downtown Austin. It has a zero entry pool and it's great. So I took, told my younger three boys who were ages like, I think nine, seven, and five. I got them floaties or life vests for the younger one and, and pool noodles. And I told them stay near, you know, stay where it's, you know, knees or below, don't come, or waist and below, don't come out into the water. I had to keep an eye on them. And then I, who am not a swim instructor, but I took swim instruction, I took lessons as a kid. I got to be what advanced intermediate back in the day. What was it? Um, the Red Cross swim lessons. So I taught him, my son, how to swim. Um, I taught him how to hold his breath go under. Um, I taught him how to turn over and float on his back. Um, I taught him the basic crawl, um, the breaststroke, and, and you know, he, he was excited and he seemed to do pretty well. Um, so that was the extent of the lessons he had had. And as we found out, that wasn't enough, you know. Um, there are a lot of would'ves, could'ves, should'ves, and there have been a handful of times when Satan has started to really attack me. You should have gotten them lessons. You should have done more. You should have, should have, should have. And almost immediately, after 5, 10, 15 minutes of that, I'll have so much peace, and the Lord will just tell me, that's how I chose to take your son, and that was the right time. And um, and I'm, I'm really at peace that, anyway, I'm at peace. That the, that the Lord's timing is perfect. It's always perfect. His ways are perfect. Always perfect. Okay, that said, um, so Nathan was not, I've learned since then, um, that he was not an efficient swimmer. He could swim, but he burned a lot of energy doing so. And that probably is why he could not make it across that channel that he was trying to swim. He was wearing his clothes. He wasn't wearing a swimsuit. He was wearing shorts, but he was wearing... I think he's wearing a t-shirt and um, boxers in his shorts and that dragged him, that created drag and then also he wasn't an efficient swimmer and when he started struggling instead of remembering to flip over onto his back or tread water, he struggled more, took in water and then ended up going under too many times. So um, what I told my boys afterwards, after the first couple days, after you know we were processing things, is I told them. Um, I don't want you to be afraid of the water. I've, the wa that, that way that your brother went to be with the Lord, that was the way the Lord chose to take him. 
but I don't want y'all to be afraid of the water. I don't want you to be afraid of taking lessons. I don't want you to feel guilty for having fun in the water. I want you to enjoy the water. And that doesn't mean we're careless, or we don't care, we're, no, it doesn't mean that. It just means that you have to, you can't live in fear all the time. Um, we have to live in faith that our God is an awesome God. He's, he's sovereign and he's the one who's truly in charge of, um, of our children that he's um, put into our care. So um, at the beginning of the summer, way before July 4th, uh, my two younger boys who are 9 and 11 came to me and asked, said, the only thing we want for our birthday this year is swim lessons. And so I told them, okay, I'll make it happen. And we hit some roadblocks different ways. Uh, Leander doesn't allow private lessons in their public pool. Their lessons had gotten booked. I couldn't, most of the places I tried were really expensive. Um, when you're trying to get lessons for, you know, four or five kids at the same time, you're talking about six to eight hundred dollars at the cheapest, closer to a thousand to twelve hundred dollars, which was, was a lot for us and I didn't want to give one boy lessons and not all of them so um, so anyway we scheduled lessons and at the time um, Nathan told us I asked him do you want me to schedule you lessons also and he said sorry I don't know if you can hear there's a helicopter I'm gonna wait till it goes okay do you want me to schedule you lessons also and he said no I know how to swim I don't not I don't need lessons and he's like I've, I've I'm, I'm, he said, I'm not, he said, I'm not the greatest swimmer, but I can get where I want to go. So I didn't schedule him lessons. And um, their lessons were supposed to start the week of July 4th. We did end up, she ended up canceling because she was sick. The instructor did. But I would have canceled anyway. It was too soon, too much. We were all overwhelmed. Nobody's sleeping or eating. We didn't need to go do swim lessons. But the week following... My nine-year-old started his lessons, and this, and then last week on a Friday, um, my two boys took, the two older boys took their first lesson, and that's what they're doing now over here. They have a great instructor, and even my two-year-old ended up in the water. She's being real sweet to take care of her while she gives lessons to the boys. And um, so that's it. I would encourage everyone. You should like. I'm going to repeat what Jeannie just told me. No matter whether you know how to swim or not, you should take lessons every year. You can always get better. You can always become more efficient. You can always improve. You can be refreshed and reminded as far as um, how to proper water safety, what to do in an emergency uh, for yourself or someone else. It's just good to take lessons every year. And that's it. Okay, y'all gonna do it again? She down. ducked. Blow it. She put her head. One, two, three, go. Good girl. <laughs> she also did. I, I got it. Good mm. job. Did you blow the bubbles? Did you get your nose? Did you get that water? Do you want to race me? Jump. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Blow bubbles. Okay, ready? Let's race, brother. Then let's race. Ready, step, go. Ah! <laughs> step one. We won. <laughs>